So check this out. Merriam-Webster's word of the year for 2022 is gaslighting. The word has been used a lot lately, and the number of searches for the meaning of the word has skyrocketed this year. I'm sure you guys have heard it used recently. In this video, I'm going to talk about the definition of gaslighting, what it means for definitions of other words, and give you some examples of its most egregious usage. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, the main definition is this. Psychological manipulation of a person, usually over an extended period of time, that causes the victim to question the validity of their own thoughts, perception of reality, or memories, and typically leads to confusion, loss of confidence and self-esteem, uncertainty of one's emotional or mental stability, and a dependency on the perpetrator. Of course, we hear this term used a lot in politics. If you search for examples of gaslighting, you'll get a lot of mainstream media articles about Donald Trump and that no one has ever gaslighted the American people like he has. Ironically, that's actually them gaslighting us. Remember, they told us Trump colluded with Russia. He didn't. They said he called neo-Nazis very fine people. He didn't. They said he called all Mexicans rapists. He didn't. They said he banned Muslims from coming to America. He didn't. They said there was a video of Russian prostitutes peeing on him. There wasn't. They said the Trump tax cuts only benefited the rich. They didn't. Or what about Jesse Smollett or Bubba Wallace or the Covington kid? Now, if you believed all those things were true, you were gaslighted. The Democrats and their media mouthpieces are manipulating you for their own political gain. And their manipulation continues. Trump took the nuclear codes to Mar-a-Lago and was planning to sell them to Russia. The Hunter Biden laptop story was nothing more than Russian disinformation. The economy is doing well. ESG scores are not a real thing. They don't teach CRT in high school. The gay nightclub in Colorado Springs was shot up by a right-wing extremist. Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked because of Donald Trump. These are all just more lies to try to convince you that you're not seeing what you're seeing. And even though the use of the word gaslighting has gotten really popular recently, the actual technique of gaslighting has been used for a long time. A classic example would be that the Democrats and Republicans, quote unquote, switch sides. The Democrats were the racists back in the day, but once the Republicans finally got enough Democrats on board and passed civil rights legislation, the racist Democrats decided to move to the Republican Party. And the Republicans, who fought for a hundred years to achieve civil rights, decided to become Democrats right after their big achievement. Does that make sense? Or does it make more sense that Democrats don't want to be held accountable for being the party that started the KKK and did all of the lynchings? About 3,500 blacks were lynched up until the so-called party switched sides. And some of you might not know this, but more than a quarter of the people who were lynched by the KKK during that time were actually white Republicans. That doesn't get talked about much for some reason. You see, that's another way people gaslight. They shift blame to someone else. It's called deflection. You can't blame us, the Democrat Party, for 86 years of terrorizing black Americans because the party switched sides. What's interesting is that the terrorizing of black Americans stopped after the so-called switch happened and no more blacks or Republicans were ever lynched again. Weird, huh? In more recent times, people have been manipulated to believe that voter ID laws, despite the majority of black Americans supporting them, are the modern day version of Jim Crow or Jim Crow 2.0. That's how our current president, a Democrat, Joe Biden calls it. And remember, old Joe said this about forced school integration back in the 1970s. Quote, unless we do something about this, my children are going to grow up in a jungle, the jungle being a racial jungle, end quote. Now, why didn't he switch parties? Gaslighting has been proven to be an effective political strategy. But for gaslighting to be the most effective it can be, not only do they have to manipulate voters with lies about their opposition, they have to redefine what other words mean or make up completely new definitions. For example, racism used to mean thinking that someone from a different race was inferior simply due to their race. But now they try to redefine racism as having to have power over the person of the other race that you think is inferior. And the Democrats had to change that definition to give them the power of getting to choose 
who gets labeled a racist. You can be a poor white person with absolutely no power whatsoever. You could be half retarded because your mom had a baby with her brother, but the Democrats can call you a racist because they claim you have this other thing they made up called white privilege. And that doesn't mean that black people can't be racist. It just means that only people like Candace Owens or Larry Elder can be racist against other black people. They're the so-called black white supremacists, you know, because they don't agree with Democrat policies. But the redefining of terms doesn't stop there. They've redefined what a recession is, they've redefined what an insurrection is, and they've redefined what a woman is so perniciously that Democrats won't even give a definition when asked, what is a woman? What is a woman? Mm. Yeah. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, <laughs> I can't really answer that. You see, for gaslighting to be the most effective strategy, they also have to confuse you. And what better way to do that than to change the definition of words you've understood since you could read? Words that have had well-established definitions for lifetimes. Confusion is a cornerstone of gaslighting. The gaslighters have a large percentage of black Americans voting for the party that started the KKK and did every lynching throughout American history. Now, that brings us back to the definition of gaslighting. Psychological manipulation of a person, usually over an extended period of time that causes the victim to question the validity of their own thoughts, perception of reality, or memories and typically leads to confusion, loss of confidence and self-esteem, uncertainty of one's emotional or mental stability, and a dependency on their perpetrator. Do you think black people who vote for the party of the KKK aren't dependent on their perpetrator? Do you think they haven't been manipulated by those who've always wanted power over them? Do you not think banning a song like Baby It's Cold Outside while glorifying gangster rap as art is confusing? Or even the word African American? Why in the world would a black American want to disconnect their ownership from the place where they live? Why would they want to feel like an outsider? It's detrimental to their existence, and Democrats know that. Or how about telling Native Americans that this is really their land, even though it's been stolen over and over again for thousands of years? Or how about telling a little boy that it's completely normal to question if he's really a boy? As groups, these people aren't doing very well, and they have this one thing in common. They've been manipulated into believing that the people who want power over them only want it so that they can use that power to make things better. It's ironic that Democrats often talk about empowering women and minorities and the youth while convincing those very same people to give their power away. Think about it. If you vote for higher taxes, you're giving your power away. That's your money to use how you see it to best be used. If you vote for gun control, you're giving your power away. It's your right and responsibility to protect you and your family. If you vote for amnesty, you're giving your power away. Flooding the market with cheap labor only allows those in power to drive down your wages and your opportunities. And if you vote for abortion, you're giving your power away. It means that you've allowed those in power to convince you that we don't need any more people in the world that look like you. Look, the scope of the manipulation operation Democrats put on the American people is impressively massive and they're playing the long game. Gaslighting shouldn't just be the word of the year for 2022. It should be the word of the Democrat Party. It's like their secret motto. It's their modus operandi, and it always has been. And that's the simple truth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you all want to support this channel, check out the links in the description, and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate.